I'm Jeremy Freidegger from Cobalt Connects Creativity, and we're the organization that manages the Dan Lurie International Sculpture Collection at the Royal Botanical Gardens. The newest piece joining the collection this year is by Inuit sculptor Keiki Negosiak, which has been transposed from its an original 12-inch scale in serpentine stone. Our team worked with the Printing House in Toronto to create a digital 3D scan of the original work. The scan was then used to print a detailed 70-inch replica to be used in the bronze casting process at Artcast Inc., one of Canada's premier bronze casting foundries in Georgetown, Ontario. We took the 3D scan file of School of Fish, we then had it 3D printed in a 3D wax material that we can cast directly. We assembled it in wax. We then took that apart. We attached a gating system. It's a series of rivers that allow the bronze to flow into the shell with a bit of control. We then put it through the shell making process where we have a ceramic shell built on the outside. We dip the wax pieces in uh, liquid ceramic and then we dip them in a sand and this builds up the hard outer shell that we will pour bronze into later. From there, once the shell is dry, we then take it and put it in a steam chamber, melt out the wax. The ceramic shell, which is now empty, then goes into our firing and burnout furnaces. Once we have the preheated shells, we put the shells in a sand, which helps protect against any breaking. And then we'll pour the bronze into the pieces at 1100 degrees Celsius, approximately. Once the bronze has cooled enough that it's solid, we'll pull it out of the sand. We'll then let those shells sit, and then we'll chip off the ceramic once it's cool enough to handle. So once we break away the ceramic shell, and we also cut off anything we've attached to it already, so we have to sandblast it. We then take the raw bronze pieces that are still there, we weld them together into the final piece, and then we do any remaining grinding, welding, defects, hammering. For the patina on School of Fish, we're using three chemicals. We're using cupric nitrate, ferric nitrate, and we're using what's called antique black. So all three of these together will create a stone-like finish on the piece. It'll give you a slight texture on a smooth surface, and you'll be left with a fantastic piece that will last for generations to come.